Yep. Well, I'll be darned. Look at that difference. Holy mackerel. Did you look at that go? Well, hi there, little guy. Of course my phone's gonna ring. It's a Mark Sager video. Yeah. I know, you're gathering for the winter, aren't you? Everybody's nuts in my opinion right now. I started videoing with my phone in there. I wasn't going to do a video, then the boys showed up, so I'm going to video. Aaron, you had fun so far today? No. Oh, just a blast. My wheel doesn't work. Oh, yeah, we got to fix that. Dang it. Of course, it has to be a long hose run, and with this knee, steps included. I'm always so thankful for steps included. Well, that's with just the design alone. And uh, it's pulling out hair with our little 10 inch CRV and agitating in. It's looking pretty darn good already. Did I get that spot there, Brady? I just gonna ask you about it. I don't know if I did. Let's grab it. Now I got it. Now it's coming out. Well, I was wondering why I was clicking and clacking as walking, and it was thought it was my knee, but it was a dang fish hook got stuck in my new shoes. Dude, got lucky. Brady's patiently waiting for me, but yeah. You and, you and Brady both tripped on. I did. I trip on everything. All right, so Brady patiently has waited for me. <laughs> he wants to go home today too. So here we go. Let's see what this will do. Some of this is more of a greasy soil. Person is involved in mechanical work. So this is our P. Zyme with eucalyptus mint. I think we're gonna end up throwing some pre-spray over top of that, buddy. No way. You think? It's coming out. Uh, I don't know. We'll give it the dwell time, but that's some pretty serious grease stuff. That's not organic. That's uh, petroleum based. That might be its limitation. But compared to the first video or pictures I had, it, it did start making a dent on it. So there he goes. It's got some potential, but I just don't think it's going to have an entire punch. So after our 30 minutes of dwell time today, we'll I think we'll throw some fresh code red on this puppy. That's what we're gonna do. Yep. Okay. Oh, they're coming here to pick up something in the garage. Yeah, we're gonna need pre-spray. <laughs> yeah, well, let's agitate that living room too. We're really gonna get that p -zyme into it and do what it can for it. This one definitely gonna need some pre-spray. Okay, for those of you waiting. Just like that. So we'll give the 1980s sculptured shag a little bit of uh, lovin'. We've got the Pizyme eucalyptus mint down on this one too. We're just gonna loosen up what we can, pull out whatever other dog hairs we can get out and go from there. Anywhere. That's pretty good. Look at how I just took those soils out. Look at this. That's just loverly. So let's see what this does. Good old neutral pH cleaner. Kind of trying to make a stab at that. This is an old nylon though. Nylons are nice. I think we're gonna code red it anyway. All right, look at that stuff there. It's gonna be full of hair and gunk. So what we do is we take the hose, we start sucking it out of there, and then we turn it backwards. So we can get all that junk out of there off the brushes and spun it back out. This is a good one. Watch this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's up in there. Look at there. Gonna have to do a good cleaning on this one this week. Oh, she needs a good cleaning now. Okay, well, that's better. <laughs> the spot went down. 
So Aaron's gonna use the wand to get behind the doors. We're gonna use the Zipper SS Super Spinner in this case. That's already better. So we'll get those closets taken care of and then we can hit the main pass really well. Well, it is cleaning pretty decent with just the enzyme there and there, but it's not in the dirty area. Do me a favor, Aaron. Right from this, do a pull on it, just out of curiosity. Well, I'll be darned. Wow. So change of plan, I had some 10 below mixed up, which is our newest pre-spray and warranty safe, even though there's no warranty remaining on any of these carpets. But it has some characteristics, even though it's odorless, can help remove odors without the use of a perfume. So we're gonna put it to the use in the test here. Sure, it will do our due diligence. Still impresses me. Yeah, let's put some 10 below on this here too. So we had a dog it's elderly and got some leaking and stuff going on too the rest of this is just good old tough everyday soils what she is so this is 10 below we'll just have to see what it can do here this is on a polyester and we're going for odor and of course soils Oof, that's some good stuff that's some good eating there brady huh oh yeah, oh, yeah. Nice and greasy. Nice and greasy. That's how we like them. That even with the shadows. Starting to come around a little bit. So here we go with the Zipper SS Super Spinner with brand new spinners too. Only one other use. Oh yeah, we forgot to turn it up, didn't we? Got to turn the PSI up. Now you can hear them. It's a fake vent. Gosh, that 1980s sculpted shag goes really well with the tongue and groove pine, actually. It's really got a nice theme. It fits. Wow. Aaron said he's going to do it old school with no Idaho's. Nylon sure looks pretty when she cleans up, guys. Yeah, I'd say there's a noticeable difference. Yeah, it's pretty good. Always has a nice, bright shine to it. It's yellow. It's yellow? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hear those spinners starting to break in though? That's pretty cool. There's definitely a difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite nice. I was like, I don't know about this one. I was kind of surprised about that back bedroom so far. But let's keep our fingers crossed that it works well. So you can see, see the difference. Look at that difference. Holy mackerel. Home run. Just don't know why they don't make nylon anymore. It's just a great carpet fiber. I had one today. Did you have a nylon today? Wow, two nylons in the same day, even in the same week, that's intense. I would say my carpet was from at least 2005. 2005? This has got to be the 80s. <laughs> my house had this exact same carpet in it when I first moved in, guys. Reminds me of my It would look the same if you still had it. <laughs> yeah, 1980s. Reminds me of my grandma. Does it? Good feelings always talking about grandmas. Like <laughs> Who are you?
you calling us old? Us. So I'm here and they're calling, it smells like an old person. That's gotta be me then they're referring to. Well, it's just ripping on it. No comment. No comment from the cheap seats. Wow, that thing is just going to town. People ask sometimes, do we use the zippers and the super spinners on residential when it's open like this or has got a situation problem we're trying to address? Yes, then we do. So you could say we're really flushing it. Some pun intended. Stay tuned and next we're gonna clean the tile. Okay? <laughs> we're gonna clean the tile. I don't think so. No, no, we're not. <laughs> tile table out there. It ain't gonna happen today. So switch microphones here, but Brady, and I'm to my new Rhodes shotgun mic, Big Pro. Brady was just saying he's kind of surprised how well this came up. What do you think, Brady? Yeah, I would say it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, didn't look, it didn't look bad to me, anyways, Yeah. Uh, beforehand, as for color-wise, but. Now we see how bright but, uh, the whites in yeah, are. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's the intense. the whites whiter and the brights brighter. Yep. You know what Tide does or something like that? Tide does. We're not using Tide. Not <laughs> so look at that already. Oh, that's going to need a good cleaning. Yeah, because it's already, if you see an announcement, it's going to be in Canada. discussing the Mikey's Fest that I unfortunately cannot go to because of that thing. It's cold. Yeah. Stupid knee. I'm going to be having surgery the Tuesday that Mikey's Fest starts. By the way, I haven't commented here, but I didn't expect this to turn out like this, Aaron. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you get crop circles up here a little bit at the end, and how you fix that is you just run along the end with the zipper, and that takes care of them. But this is insane. I did not expect that to happen. So what I'm talking is you flip and you go and that'll take out the crop circles along that edge. Yeah, I don't doubt it. There's was a lot of stuff in here. But don't doubt it. See how it's running up against the edge? That's what you're gonna do up there. Nothing like finishing off the job, huh Brady? Yeah. Give her that good professional look. Good grief, I can't believe how that turned out. See, like that. Oh, slurpy, slurpy. All right, this is the one we've been waiting for. Let's see how we can do. That works really good. Let's go there. Quit moving the camera so much, Mark. Good grief. There, I'm stable. Stable up against the wall, I can lean and then I won't fall over quite as easy. Do you look at that go? That's our 10 below. Actually, we've had our enzyme product, the P-Zyme with eucalyptus mint down, but look at that go with 10 below too, a little punch. I think it did really well with just even the enzyme. I saw that little spot there. Yep, there she's coming out. Might have been a little chunky, a little good eating there, huh, Aaron? <laughs> No, yeah, the appetite's kind of going a little bit. So, so I don't think we're going to get that perfect back there. There's oh, too, wear. yeah, there's too much wear and too much discoloration staining. We'll we'll hit it harder, but there's still going to be a line there. There's just no doubt about it. 
so we're going to rescue it as much as we can. And we'll probably blast along that line a little bit harder, but look at that. Yep, get out of the way again, Mark. I did that. Let me hold that up. Okay. There will be no cable TV in this place at all anymore today. Good grief. Yeah, I'd say considerably better too. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit a few spots a little harder maybe. But black to white, pretty darn easy here. probably hit this darker spot wear spot a little more a couple more hits and see if we can remove a little and the way we keep going and from this angle you can see and we still have quite a bit of wear and wear line there and a stain line we're gonna try some Harvard dissolve all of water down on some of these edges here and see if we can't blend it in a little bit more and take out a few little questionable stain spots. Well, that one came out. Well, you can see that's hugely improved. I'm gonna flush out the dissolve all in these couple spots of concern. It's improved. Okay, so here's a technique we're gonna try. We're using a delimamine citrus based we're gonna to try to see if we can't scrub some of that out, maybe try to blend this in, because this is pretty worn. And so we're just gonna to try to manipulate it a little bit, make it a little more presentable and not such a rigid line. Sometimes, as you've seen us before too, we can spray on some uh, peroxide just like magic and can maybe oxidize out some of that. He's using a soft bristle brush to do this, by the way. No, that's wire brush. <laughs> He's lying. It's pretty dirty. You're gonna to have to clean that out of Mark's spinners. All right, so there is, yeah. So it's just gonna be a line. There's no doubt about it. It's just gonna be wear and tear and abuse, staining. Okay, we're taking the home run from here. Yes, I have a lot of shadowing. That's what happens when you're carpet cleaning. We don't bring lights all the time either. So we never get the most perfect lighting. We're lucky if we get any decent audio. <laughs> And with my stability, lucky if you even get anything not wobbly for stability on the screen. Sorry, everyone. Thanks for subscribing and checking us out, though, and being here. All right, we have a spot he's going to take out with the dissolve all and a little agitation and a little rinsing. Oh, look at that. Now, there's that fuzzball that was up in there. I'm trying to get wrapped up in my new spinners. <laughs> Pleads the fifth, the sixth, and whatever. We're holding this hose up, and dang it, I'm gonna tell you, this little hose is dang hot. Well, let's groom her up, and we'll give you an idea what it looks like at the end. That is hugely improved. There's some more hair. Holy smokes, let me see that. 
Holy mackerel. Wow. All right, we're trying to find something soft so we can set it to not pollute it, but look at that. Smoking, holy smokes. Well, there it is. <laughs> that is way better. I thought there is no way. Wow, that's great. I'd like to thank the guys for showing up to do this job because, I don't know, by the time you see this, when I maybe get this published, I might have a brand new knee. That one, that one. Let's hope it gets done right this time. <laughs> who is this? Where are you going, Super Puppy? Come on, come on in. And who is this? Who's that little one there? Hi, hi Levi. How are you today? No smiles? No smiles? A little bit. We're kind of looking at the camera though. Okay, say hello to everybody. <laughs> Somebody's getting here. Is it kind of cold out here today? It is, huh? <laughs> what do we have, Luna? We have dog food? <laughs> Silly girl. 